Hello, I'm Andre Van Barneveld from Grace Consultancy. Today I want to talk to you about uh, pasture cover per cow as a measure. Um, what is it? It's your available kilos of dry matter per hectare divided by your stocking rate, and it should give you a guide to how much grass there is per cow on, on the platform that you're working on. So for example, if you've got an um, average farm cover of 2,300 minus the 1,500 residual, um, it's 800 kilos of dry matter per hectare divided by your stocking rate. That's your um, pasture cover per cow. Why don't I like to use it? I don't like to use any single measure as, as a, a secure guide to pasture management. Um, it's all about making sure that you get the right residuals. That's all about the right pre-grazing covers, maximizing your growth uh, and managing your demand. All these things need to be taken into account. And if you're um, highly focused on pasture cover per cow, you're at risk of getting outside the ideal zones to be working in. For example, if you've got a very high stocking rate, it means that working at the same pasture cover per cow principles, you're going to write on a higher farm cover, which means you're going to higher pre-grazing covers, and you're now working in a zone where you've lost digestibility in the grass, you're having to work the cows harder to push down to the right residual, um, and, you, and you've got slower recovery on that pasture plant, which nutritionally and from a plant perspective isn't ideal. On the other hand, if you've got a low stocking rate, you're working in the other end where maybe you're going into pasture covers of 2,400, 2,500 kilos of dry matter per hectare, and you're missing out on the best growth stage of the plant and not optimizing intakes in the cows either. Um, so you're really at danger of getting outside your ideal zones. Different systems have different demands. It's more important to understand your demand you're running at and the growth rates you're able to sustain. For example, if you've got um, four cows per hectare, but you're um, fully pasture focused um, and you're feeding 18 kilos of dry matter per cow in pasture, your, your pasture demand per hectare is 72 kilos of dry matter per day. Um, whereas if you've got three cows per hectare and you're feeding a lot of concentrate and there's uh, only 14 kilos of dry matter per cow pasture demand, you, you're running a 42 kilos of dry matter per hectare per day pasture demand. It's, it's, it's a massive difference between the two systems. And so pasture cover per cow can't be used uh, with the same targets for every system that you're in. So make sure you understand your growth rates and your potential growth rates, you, you understand your demand, uh, that you understand what impact stocking rate and demand per cow have on all these things, and that you're always focused on your pre-grazing cover targets and your right residuals.